This video is Fluffy Butt Approved. Welcome, and today we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to try making punch bait. Now I have here, we're going to make two different kinds. We're going to make a chicken liver one, and then I have some shrimp defrosting. So what you're going to want for this first one, I got some chicken liver. I should have said also has a beef liver back there. It's whatever I had in the freezer. You're going to need some garlic, garlic powder, some old cheese, cornstarch and a flyer to get in the cheese. And then I have fish oil, and then an old container, like this one I found in the house. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the livers in the blender and give them a blend. I'm probably going to have to do this in two stages because I've got quite a bit here. And I'm also going to do the cheese in two stages with it as well. And cheese is needed for a punch bait. And then also I forgot you need cotton balls to so that it will stay on the hook. Cattails work better. I have cotton balls. Alright, let's get it in the blender and get it going. Okay, I've got this old beef liver I defrosted real quick. How old? No, not too bad. Still smells good. Now there should be enough liquid in these that we don't need to add any. And I need to sharpen my knife. That's about all the beef liver that I'm going to use. I'm going to take the chicken liver. Now I could reuse these chicken liver tubs, which I probably will. So when I go to the lake, it's easier to take these rather than the big humongous thing over there. Then we're going to add some of this old cheese I've got. A little bit of garlic water. Oh yeah, that's garlicky. Mm -hmm. Some garlic powder. Now, while it's not necessary, a bit of the fish oil. <laughs> that smells fishy. Just a little. A little goes a long ways with this stuff. And I'm only going to add it to this batch, not to the other. First. We're making a smoothie. So after some technical difficulties, I broke out my wife's nice blender. And we're going to use it. So I already added the, the rest of the chicken liver. And I'm going to now blend it. I put a little bit more garlic powder in it, more cheese. And we're going to let it go.
there we go. A nice smoothie. Mmm. So now I'm going to take this container. Oh, one thing I forgot. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. We need some cornstarch. Put about, oh, that much. Just give it a little bit of thickening. I'm going to do this real quick. Just pulse it a few times. Corn starts already thickened it quite a bit. Now I'm getting ready to make the other recipe, so we're just going to leave a little bit of this in there. Ain't going to kill it. The flies are already loving this. So then I'm going to take the container, set it there, grab some good old Dollar General cotton balls here. Now what you want to do, I'm not going to bore you making you watch me do all of them, is just unroll them. You want them to separate more into fibers, more like that. How much do I need? I don't know. This is my first time we're just experimenting. So I got it covered apart there. I'm probably gonna throw maybe about 20 cotton balls. I want it to really start to soak this up so that it's consistency of what you buy at the store that is punch baits like Danny King's. Now, after this step, I'm gonna mix it with my knife over there. Until it's all well soaked up and then I'm gonna leave it out here for a few days maybe a week so that, that way it could start to basically ferment we'll use the word go rancid <laughs> go bad and then I'll go ahead and refrigerate it we'll give it a shot see how it works at the pond at the lake pond lake wherever we choose to go and probably this winter I may leave it in the back room and just let it set and let it really go. Because the smellier, the better. This is different than a dip bait. This was a dip bait, we probably thickened a little bit more and then it's ready to go. This isn't required. Dip baits dissolve quicker. This will work better in the winter. I read an article just a little bit ago where fishermen are catching catfish in November using a punch bait. Now, some of you think it, oh, aren't all stink baits the same? The answer is no. The science behind all of them are different. Dip baits, I am going to do an experiment on it to show you that it dissolves quicker at a high temp versus if the water temp was a 40 degrees. And remember, catfish feed on scent. You know, that's going to be everything. If you can't dissolve it and they can't smell it, it's not going to work. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll, I'll check back with you when we're ready to make this shrimp wood. I have some old mozzarella been sitting out. Just gonna dump whatever's left in there. Just about a cup of it. Now we'll blend our smoothie some more.
we're going to take one of the chicken liver containers. This one here doesn't smell terrible, and I didn't give a demonstration. Let's just take these cotton balls, and I'm trying to fan them out, make them small, then add it to the mixture. And then once I get this topped off of cotton balls, I'll take a little bit of cornstarch, put it on the top to help thicken this. This, was, this one here is already pretty thick, so it's not going to take a whole lot of cornstarch. Now, as soon as I'm done with this step and I stir it, I'm going to leave it sitting outside with the cover on um, for a while, about a week. See how that goes. And then I'll bag it in a Ziploc bag. You want to do that or it will stink your fridge up. And then it's ready to go. I do recommend that you take the cheese if you can get it well ahead of time. Like now. Let it sit in a bucket, like a five gallon bucket outside. Cover it up. Leave it alone. Some bait manufacturers wait till it turns brown. And it's going to be pungent. That will make the best bait. I don't have it available. The more natural the cheese the better off you are. You don't want it super processed like Velveeta, which is very close to plastic. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, the thumbs up. Give a comment down below. If you have any bait recipes of your own or something that I should try to make, let me know. And if you did enjoy it, subscribe. You have a great night.